Hey, how's it going? Making some progress over here, even though it's warm. <laughs> Summertime. <clears throat> Got everything opened up down here. <clears throat> Had some brackets made that will also bolt on right here. Y'all see what those will do here in a second. What I'm working on is a charge tank. It's had quite a bit of work done to it. Quite a bit. Got the pedo tooth poking out the top. They reference the boost down here. You can see this one. Sitting a bit low. This will come up here. These two tubes will reference the boost coming in. And since they provide a little bit of restriction, it'll be one PSI higher than the boost at all times coming into this charge tank. That's what allows the turbo to really work, along with this switch right here. I'll tell you about that in a second. The pitot tubes come out the top. Tubes will connect here on the top, which come out of the float bowls right about there. The boost will go into the float bowls and actually push the fuel out of the carburetors, not the air coming in. The Venturi effect goes away. Mr. Venturi leaves the party and Mr. Turbo starts his game. Once the boost comes up into the charge tank from this tube, comes up in here, what this switch does, this switch right here, it's a hob switch, it's an adjustable hob switch, and of course all this is machined to fit because this is actually a Yamaha charge tank on Honda carburetors, and Yamaha charge tank was not made to do any of this or fit on a Honda. So essentially, once that little bitty hole sees one PSI, everything starts to happen. It's an adjustable switch. I pressure tested it and adjusted it to one, 1 1.42 PSI, which is essentially what a human can make, which is what the carburetors want to see to be able to start making stuff happen, at least with the boost, not as a carburetor. This fits in here, of course, it's all drilled and tapped. I don't know if you can see the tap down there, the thread, but it screws in. Everything's all good. And all this fits with all the goodies. That's just a drain down here. If I need it, I can drain it or be able to reference boost or whatever I need. But essentially all this fits down here. Let me show you. Let's see if I can tuck it in here. You gotta get in there just right there we go it fits in there fits in over here there it is and you see these little holes here on the side I was able to get some holes tapped in the throttle shafts here on the carburetor and over here on the charge tank and what this does made these little brackets this little bracket will go in here essentially bolt on once it all fits in the past I've had a couple charge tanks blow off when you get boost too high when you get the boost too high and the charge tank blows off you got a bunch of problems because uh, everything goes wrong there we go now it's gonna go in you see what that does the charge tank cannot pull off the carburetors now even if the boots let go it, everything's staying in place which means, since this is a built engine, and it's got a big nasty turbo, and some good plumbing, <laughs> we could turn the boost up. And uh, we all know what that means. I'm thinking at about 10, 12 pounds of boost, this thing should double the horsepower easily. And once we double the horsepower, we're probably looking at 150, 160. That's going to be a lot of fun. Because this thing doesn't weigh very much. As you can see, big motor, not much frame. My big old butt riding it, that's what's going to really weigh it down. But that's what that turbo is for. It's going to be good. We're going to have some fun. More to come. Like and subscribe. Thank you all.